your rainbow, I have seen so many of you recently, whether it was at our fall statewide initiation, where we initiated five new sisters, or during the three speeches this week to the York Wright bodies, or for the grim reception of districts 7, 10, 26, 36, and 37, it has been so great to see so many of you. My happy place is always with my rainbow sisters and rainbow supporters. And if you haven't seen me, it's probably because I don't know what you're doing. So please make sure that you are adding your events to our Team Reach calendars. If you need the code, please feel free to email me at ohiogwa2425 at gmail.com and I will give you the codes. I really quickly just want to go over some of the initiatives that we have this year. The first is called the Awesome Assembly Competition. You can earn 50 points every time you travel to another assembly. 100 points if a girl in your assembly receives a You Are The Sun card, which are cards that I will be giving out on my official visits to recognize girls that are going above and beyond in their own assemblies. You also can earn 100 points for each item that you have on your Build Your Happy Place. You can earn 200 points if you have two service events a turn, one that is for your own charity and then one for the Ronald McDonald House or you earn 200 points for each girl that you initiate during the year. 300 points if you have at least one member at rule day, and if you attend both days, you will get an additional 100 points, and if you submit your video for the Tropical Tea, you will also get 300 points. You receive 400 points by earning a traveling trophy, and there are various ways to receive 500 points, which are if you had no suspensions, your deputy gets pied in the Dollars for Deputies competition, or if you win the membership drive. You can submit points by going to bit.ly slash awesomeassembly and filling out the Google form. One of the items on your Build Your Happy Place is a beach ball, which you can earn if at least half of your girls participate in either the written or spoken ritual competition. Our first ritual competition of the year will be at the Grand Reception for Districts 9, 12, and 20 on November 9th at the Lancaster Masonic Lodge. Ritual competition starts at 4 p.m. Because you think you're funny. I am funny. No, you aren't. I know you're recording right now, too. Bruh. Bruh. I thought you were going. Bruh. I thought Bruh. you were going. Go! Bruh. 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 Throw your beach ball. I will, at you. No, throw it like we're recording. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let me lock in. <clears throat> Let's check out what the awesome ladies of District 36 have been up to. Hello, Ohio Rainbow. My name is Maddie, and I'm the current worthy advisor for Painesville Assembly number 14. Since Grand Assembly, the girls have been keeping themselves busy. So let's see what Peeville's been up to in a recap. Painesville Assembly! Woohoo! Hi, I'm Emmy Walker. I am recorder for Painesville Assembly number 14. And the 4th on of July ceremony, we had a, or celebration, we had a, um, we were in the 4th of July parade and we sat at a booth in Thompson, Ohio. Hi, my name is Ella and I'm drill leader at assembly number 14 in Painesville. And we were invited by the Acacia Lodge to go to a baseball game, the captain's baseball game, on July 6th. And we had some very good mac and cheese and the captain's won. Hi, my name is Kaylin. I'm Sister Love from Painesville Assembly 14. And on July 10th, we'll party at, yeah, it was super fun. And there was a ton of food and it was super nice and it was just amazing. Hi, I'm Maggie and I'm the Sister of Hope for Painesville Assembly number 14. And on August 3rd, where the advisor Maddie and I participated in the District 1 initiation and inspection where she was Faith and I was Immortality. Hi, I'm Jules, I am Confidential. Painesville 14, here to make blankets. This is Painesville Assembly! Woohoo! <laughs> Hi! This is West Farmington Assembly number 116, and we are so excited to show you our new location. So we would like to welcome you to the Warren Masonic Temple. I have with me here Nevada, and she is going to be our tour guide today. And we're going to start with... This is the horn. It's like all the way up here. And... Push um, Go ahead. Push yep. And then we'll... Yeah, that's what happens. Somebody will. And if you put your card in, you can open up. It's a 
nothing. Um, we have this beautiful chandelier. Um, and um, if you come over here, there's an elevator. And yeah, you have to press the button. And this little thing tells you if it's in use or not in use or yeah. And we're gonna go up to the second floor. So after you come up the stairs to the second floor, there's the elevator, there's more stairs, there's restrooms, and we'll get into that one later. But we have this big dining room with Bob in it. <laughs> and um, this is where we eat lunch or whatever. And then we have all of our stuff set up with our scrapbook, um, our cards, stuff like that. And over there is the kitchen. And if we come in here, we have this really big changing room. So when we come in this room, we have the pool table room. So now we're gonna take the elevator. Now we're here on the third floor. Over there is the stairs, if you want to take those. And if we come in here, we have the library conference room. And back here, it's messy because they're rearranging it. But it's the secretary's office. And our mail's going to come in here. And there's more stairs to the fourth floor. And in this room is the corporation room where all of the um, candidates that are becoming Pledge or Rainbow, they're going to sit in here while we do opening ceremony and stuff. And then that, that's a closet. There's a bathroom in there too. Yeah. And this is where we sign in. Um... And we come in here, there's just, it's like a closet kind of thing. And it, through this door is one of the, our closets. All of that is our stuff. Now we have this spooky hallway that goes to the stage. It looks really creepy because they changed the lights. Something's gonna pop out and get me. And then there's a few stairs at the end. And after the stairs, we come on to the stage where we have our spacious large meeting room. It's really big. And there's everything up there. And a pipe organ. And the pipe organ. And that's all for this floor. Now we're going up the stairs to the fourth floor. This is the bathroom changing room. Oh, balcony. Um, right here is the balcony. It goes to the third floor. And it's still there. And then this is the balcony of the third floor of our spacious area. And this is where you can see, see the um, concrete center. So um, this is our meeting room for the Iris Pledge group if we need to use it. It's small. Thanks for join, joining us on our tour, and we hope you all join us November 24th. What are you going to say? Same thing I said yesterday. Hmm. What'd you say yesterday? Greetings, Ohio Rainbow. Nice. Yeah. Area is my Give it a little pizzazz. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's not very pizzazz. Yeah, do you want my beach ball? Be like, <laughs> greetings, Ohio Rainbow. No. <laughs> greetings, Ohio Rainbow. 
I think the theme for this month is probably the pride that I have in Ohio Rainbow. A week ago, we had the opportunity to attend Fall Statewide Initiation, where not only did we initiate five new members to Ohio Rainbow, but our Grand Floor Officers had the opportunity to share the story of initiation through their ritualistic work. They did an amazing job, and I couldn't be prouder of the work that they did. Speaking of proud, our Grand Rainbow Advisor, Hannah, has been spending this month traveling across the state visiting our various Masonic organizations and bringing greetings on behalf of Ohio Rainbow. She is doing an amazing job, and I guarantee that if you get the opportunity to listen to her on any of the videos on social media, you will be proud of her as well. This weekend, we had the opportunity to attend the Grand Reception in Northeast Ohio, where we could honor our Grand Officers for all of their many accomplishments. Coming up in November will be our next Grand Reception honoring the Grand Officers of Southern Ohio. There are two other important events that are also happening on this day. The first is ritual competition gives girls an opportunity to share what they know about rainbow, whether it is spoken or in the written competition. Our ritual work is an important part of rainbow because it's what sets us apart from some of the other youth organizations. I encourage everybody to attend and give the ritual competition a try. Another important event that is happening that day is our Grand Cross of Color ceremony. If you are a master of the Grand Cross of Color, you know how important it is that we attend and celebrate that event together because it's not just an opportunity, it's an obligation that we have taken. I encourage all of you, if you are masters of the Grand Cross of Color, to put that in your in your calendar and try to attend. <laughs> Our Grand Cross of Color ceremony will begin at 2.30. It is at the Lancaster Masonic Lodge, and please note the date is November the 9th. This is a different date than traditionally for this event. I hope you're all enjoying some fall activities with your assembly, and I hope to see you all down the Rainbow Road. Done. The ritual competition will begin at 2.30. Nope. Nope. Grand Cross. Grand Cross. The Grand Cross. And we are at the Lancaster, Lancaster. Masonic okay. Lodge. Okay. All right. The ritual competition will start. No, it will not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One more time.